I'm Sam Perez reporting live in Jacksonville. I'm here at the Seawalk Pavilion where Gamecocks fans are celebrating in preparation of tomorrow's Gator Bowl. Now this is the 78th year that Jacksonville is hosting the game, so I wanted to learn more. Well, it means a lot. The Gator Bowl, it's been held in Jacksonville every year since 1946. Just for the city and the community, it's become a, a staple event. Now it's an attraction that brings thousands of football fans like Mustin Capassi coming from Spartanburg in an RV to the Sunshine State each year. I have heard from people that I haven't heard from in years that are going to this game. But it wasn't always this way. The Gator Bowl started as a way to liven up downtown Jacksonville after the holidays as soldiers returned home after World War II. The Lions Club headed up the campaign to fundraise. Both the Lions Club mean a lot to me and of course the Gamecocks mean a lot to me. As a Lions Club member himself, Mustin says the history of the game is special. I couldn't even tell you how much they mean to me. He's not the only one who feels that way. Greg McGarrity, CEO of the Gator Bowl, tells me. This game means so much too because it kind of fills a void uh, between the NFL games on Sundays usually. Carolina hadn't been here since 87 and Notre Dame since 2003, so two teams hadn't been here for a while and fan bases likewise. As McGarrity said, this is not South Carolina's first time at the Gator Bowl. South Carolina actually went against Wake Forest in the very first match of the Gator Bowl in 1946. Reporting live in Jacksonville, Sam Perez, News 19 WLTX.